Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice algebra problem? 3 raised to power x minus 4 raised to power x equals to square root of 12 raised to power x minus 16 raised to power x. Now from here we have 3 raised to power x minus 4 raised to power x equals to square root of 12 raised to power x minus 16 raised to power x. From here, let's square both sides. We square this side and also we square this side. Then the square on this side we cancel the square root, and this will become 3 raised to the power x minus 4 raised to the power x all square will then be equal to 12 raised to the power x minus 16 raised to the power x, and uh, also we can write 12 as 3 times 4 and 16 as 4 times 4 and this become 3 raised to power x minus 4 raised to power x all square equals to 3 times 4 all raised to power x then minus 4 times 4 all raised to power x then from the law of indices this power of x we affect this number as that this we multiply each of this number then we can write this again as 3 raised to power x minus 4 raised to power x all squared then equals to 3 raised to power x times 4 raised to power x minus 4 raised to power x times 4 raised to power x then on this side we can factor 4 raised to power x out and this will become 3 raised to power x minus 4 raised to power x all squared then equals to 4 raised to power x into bracket what is left here 3 raised to power x then what will be left here is 4 raised to power x then let's take everything here to this side then this now become 3 raised to power x minus 4 raised to power x all squared then minus 4 raised to power x into bracket 3 raised to power x minus 4 raised to power x then equals to 0. We have taken this to this side now. Then from here, 3 raised to power x minus 4 raised to power x is common. So let a letter, let u be equals to 3 raised to power x minus 4 raised to power x. And this equation becomes u squared minus 4x times u minus 4 is to power x times u then equals to 0 then from this equation u is common let's factor u out from here then we have u into bracket what left say is u then minus here 4 is to power x then equals to 0 then from here is it that u equals to zero so we have two cases u equals to zero or we have u minus four raised to power x equals to zero and from this side we represented u as three raised to power x minus four raised to power x and this can be written as three raised to power x minus four raised to power x equals to zero and from here we take minus four raised to power x here and we have three raised to power x equals to four raised to power x then divide both side by four raised to power x four raised to power x to make this side equals to one when this cancel each other this side is one and from here since they have same power we can write it as three over four or raised to power x then equals to one now taking the log on both side the log on this side and also the log on this side then we have from the law of in log reading this power of x come to the back and this will give us x log 3 over 4 that's x log 3 over 4 then equals to log 1 is 0. Then divide both side by 
log 3 over 4. In order to remove log 3 over 4 here, divide this side by log 3 over 4. And from here, log 3 over 4 cancel each other. We are left with x. And from here, the side is 0. So from here, x equals to 0. So we have the value of x from here to be 0. And also, on this side, we have u to be equals to 3 raised to power x minus 4 raised to power x. That's u. Then also minus 4 raised to power x equals to 0. Then this gives us 3 raised to power x. We have 2 of this now. That's minus 2 times 4 raised to power x equals to 0. Let's take minus 2 times 4 raised to power x to the right hand side. And this becomes 3 raised to power x equals to 2 times 4 raised to power x. Then divide both side by 4 raised to power x here. Yeah? By 4 raised to power x. 4 raised to power x cancel out. And this will give us 3 over 4 or raised to power x since the power is common. Then equals to 2. Also take the log on both sides. Log on this side. And the log on this side. Then from here, this will give us x. When we apply the power law of logarithm, that's x log 3 over 4, then equals to log 2. Then also, divide both sides by log 3 over 4, divide this side by log 3 over 4, also divide this side by log 3 over 4, and log 3 over 4 cancel each other here. And from here, we apply the law of logarithm and we separate this fraction into two log remain x here and we can say that from here x will then be equals to log 2 divided by log 3 minus log 4 so here we have the second value of x we have the first value of x here to be 0 so therefore we can conclude that x1 equals to 0 and x2 equals to log 2 divided by log 3 minus log 4. And also we can confirm from what we have to check if this solution satisfies the given problem. Thank you for watching. Please share this video, subscribe to my channel, turn the notification bell on. See you next class and bye for now.